I don't think Xhaka's as bad as you lot make him out to be, bro. Like, and I've said it a million times, bro. Like, and I said it time ago, bro. I would have taken him over Tom all day, bro. Because you know, one thing Granite Xhaka does have here is he's technical. He just can't turn, bro. Like, exactly. when you play Xhaka facing his goal, he's good, bro. Same as Fred. As soon as them man, no, facing the, uh, the goal, they're shooting in. As soon as they're facing their own goal, this is where the problems arise. Bro, you know bro. them one? When man try to turn more and intelligent that. than Donny, bro. Way, way more, more intelligent, bro. more multifocal. You can pass Jackal it down can forward, can free kick. Can stop it. Exactly. He can pass, stop it. he can shoot. Stop trying to. I hate when people do this, bro. Like the guy is a quality player, but he has deficiencies. Yeah. His deficiencies show up when you play him in the wrong position. Exactly. The same as Fred, don't play him in a six, but Xhaka can play football, blood. When he plays for Switzerland, he's good. Exactly, you know, like that. So, man can't Jack say clear of Hoiberg. I don't, not even that they're both two guys to waffle about. That's just absolute nonsense, bro. <laughs> Jacko would stand out at Spurs. Hoiberg's not standing out in an Arsenal 11. I'm sorry, enough said on that. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, the way he gets rubbed out is crazy to me because I said it before. Yeah, he's the least of you man's problems, bro. He's the least of your problems because he's got mentality, he's technical. Yes, he's limited. But, bro, exactly. in the modern game, most of these players are limited, guys. And like, you just have to find a system against that. Even Jacker needs to be upgraded on, like, but still, like, you can't disrespect him with that Hoiberg bullshit. Bruv, you have to. And even this McTominay thing, bro, I said it. When I said last season, oh, yeah, fuck it, I'd play Scott up front. Yeah, man, we're laughing, bro. But, yeah, bro. You must have been in the trenches, fucking Bro, up. no, I said I'd play him up front, bro. The same way I said, oh, Fred can play left back in the right system. Man, didn't want to listen, bro. At the end of the day. Because people just see the positions these guys play and just think that you're smoking crack where if they look bro, at you, you have to look at profiles of players scott mctominay is tall he can fucking shoot and he runs blood you know like that you could play him in the tent do you know what i mean you could play him up front he used to play up front anyway when he was a it kid it won't be bro, pretty man. it won't be nice it might be effective though do you know what i'm saying and this is exactly what it is and the thing is scott yeah yesterday when he's higher up the pitch bro like he's more of a threat up there because he can he can touch it and shoot it bro He's limited, bro. Most modern footballers are good athletes and limited, bro. So you need to find the yeah. right system for them. Exactly. And then who is, do you blame? You blame everyone. the ingredients or the chef? Well, there you go. So you this need to blame it. the chef. Why is our manager getting the best out of, I'd say, all of our players? Because even though the Saka's looking half it. decent, like that bro. comes to you have to praise the players, but the gaffer is doing what you need to do, really. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you're seeing Wan Bissaka's, um, you're seeing Wan Bissaka's strengths now, bro. Like Wan Bissaka's strengths, yeah, are his athleticism. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's one of them ones where, on the ball, he's not great, but because he plays inverted now, our biggest criticisms of Wan Bissaka is can't cross X Y, but now he doesn't have to. Yeah, you, sometimes everyone can be reworked on. Sometimes you just have to accept a Donny for what they are, guard against their meediness, and then get a tune out of him. Like you, like you saw, you lot were well, not really troubled against Newcastle, but the lot kind of got twisted up by by um, what's his mm -hmm. name, Saint Maximin. When Basaka came on and shut up shop, and he's looked decent. Yeah, hundred percent. What Gaff nice has to do? Mm -hmm. Ferguson and Wenger got a lot out of meedy players as well. It weren't always the Ronaldo's and Vieiras of this world, like. Mm. 100% man saying Rice is media if he's Polish, he's 15 million. I'll be real, guys. I don't rate Declan Rice. I do not rate him. You know, like that. And it's one of them ones. It's the English hype, bro. Declan Rice, if you man are old enough, bruv, man, you see, see players like Gareth Barry and that. That's who he is. He's on adapting with a tiny bit more drip. A little bit more drip, bro. But he's Gareth Barry, blood. Receive the ball or uh, pass it sideways. All right, I'm cool. him, Run forward. Run forward. Ain't gonna score, you know. It was it's like it's like all right, but man threatened to score and that. You know mm. them man. You see when Scott Parker was young, yeah, at Charlton before he made original the, um, basic brother before he made the Chelsea move. That's it. You know them ones. It like like loads of promise, decent engine, mm -hmm. but he's just, just average at everything, bro. Like Declan Rice is not it, bro. And the problem is now with social media, yeah, they show you all the behind the scenes in England, bruv. Everyone's putting the ball in the top corner in training. You can't, so can't, you, you can't do it that. in a game. You can't. You be doing that. The media of footballers in the Premier League, as much as we diss them, will be able to do all of that and will look twice the player to us normal folks. You can't really praise man for that, really. I'm having Rice, though. He's mad over here, but I'm having him at Arsenal. Yeah, because he'll do a job in that system. Yeah, yeah. You know, like that, but that doesn't make man a baller.
Nah, I wouldn't you know, say well, not what I call, but I think he's better technically than people giving credit for. But Bola and, and oh, definitely you know, Rice, technically, two separate he's sentences. a good player. But the thing is, yeah, being good technically, yeah, in midfield, yeah, that's what does that mean? You, you need know what I'm to saying? Have that. You need to have like, that. Like, being a good midfielder is all that. It's all this. Mm. Mm. It's this and it's this, bro, because you have to have the bottle to receive the ball in areas where you're, you're under pressure. Where if you lose the ball, you could end up turning it over, and then you I could thought he'd end up as a center half, you know. At some bro, point, he was a center like half, bro. The thing <laughs> is, he is a center half. That's what I'm saying to people when you watch him play sideways backwards. He's a center back, he's built yeah, like a center over hit one in the channels, bro. He's built like a center back. Him and Eric Dyer are the same player, yeah. Just he's just more technical. Eric Dyer is a center back that plays in midfield sometimes. That's mm. what he is. He's a centre back that now in the modern game, yeah, they're putting him further forward, but he's a centre half. If he was a centre half, yeah, Declan Rice would be a very good centre half because he's he good on the so ball. so gracious bringing the ball out the back, That's especially in the Chelsea saying. back three as well, if they bought him. Bro, look at the way Lissandro plays centre back. Good on the ball. Loads of people say, oh, Lissandro can play in the six. Cool, he can, but he's better in centre back. You know why? Because he's got a bit more space. So when he carries and the a ball, bit more out, time as well. You see the it. game a lot better as well. Space. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't have to. You can be semi press resistant, but you don't have to be super agile because you've got a bit more time. You know, like that. If Declan Rice was carrying the ball out at centre back, he would be what they thought Harry Maguire was. Ball playing centre back. No, Declan Rice can actually play. You know, like that, he can actually mm. play. But when you play him in midfield, when he's actually got nippy people around, he's not agile enough to be dropping a shoulder and leaving man and no. then sliding the perfect weight or pass. But he can and he shouldn't be happen. expected to do that. Like, he's a big you, lad. He's yeah. probably what six one or something. Quite, quite stocky. He's a centre back, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? He's a centre back. That's what he is, and he's forcing the midfield thing. He'll never be a goal scoring midfielder because he's a centre back. And then man get nosebleeds when they get over the halfway line. Excited. To be fair, he scored a banger against Forrest the other day. I give him that. That's man. it. But bro, uh, Vincent Company scored a banger against Chelsea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've seen man hit. I've seen man hit. Meaty guys hit bangers. You're right. Bro, still. Alex used to bang goals for Chelsea. Centre back. Oh no, yeah, don't remind me, man. He used to boy us. Um, still. David Luiz bang goals. Centre back. You know Literally, them, man. Bro, centre back. Slightly back. Sergio Ramos as well. Love the movie thing as well. Um, if you can bang shots, it don't mean you're not a centre back. You know yeah, the man. Yeah, Even yeah. Rudiger tries his time from time to time. <laughs> you know like that. He loved bottom, it. He loved it. The bottom line is when you look at Declan Rice's profile, yeah, he don't want to receive the ball, yeah, in in um, high pressure moments. He doesn't want to play facing his own goal. And to be a proper number six, you have to be comfortable playing facing your own goal. Man can rub. You got to be one of these cultural Rodri sort of guys now. I want to rub out Jorginho, but Jorginho's comfortable to play the one-touch ball facing his own goal. Boom. Into that channel. Boom. Turn on it. Boom. Rice ain't doing that. When you watch him play, yeah, he hides in the half space in between doing something and not doing something. I don't want the ball. You don't want the ball. You don't want it. You don't want it, really. You have to want the ball. You don't, you don't want it. You don't want it there, man. You have to want it. You know what I mean? And that's what happened with Man United. When we were trying to play Fred there... And he was under hitting passes and stuff like because he's not a six, bro. When Trying man's running man up behind him, they're not paid for. When man's running up behind him, he's like, fuck it, get rid, boom. <laughs> Whereas Casemiro just dropped the shoulder, go past him. And you even know, like Casemiro, that. what makes him good? I think he's a lot better than people giving credit, but he knows that his thing, I can't do certain things. Like I might be able to live a movie here and there, but I'm here to do a job. And he does it Thanks. well, just like why he was at Madrid for as long. There's no point trying to spray passes when you've got Kroos and Modric next to you. That's not you. But a lot of people don't get football. 